He says, I should tell the security department to be very careful this season. Somebody asked me why. Why? Because while I was preparing, I was like in a trance vision. I saw missing children back to back. Many. Many missing children. I know what I'm saying. I never declare what I didn't see clearly. In fact, before I declare a message on this altar, I ask. I want you to pay serious attention to what this man of God have to say concerning our country, Nigeria. It is very serious. Please do me a favor, share this now on social media platform, share with your friends and loved ones. God bless you as you do so. Watch this video. While I was preparing for tonight's service, I heard him clearly. He said, Son, go tell Bayesa, go tell Lagos. You know, prophecies will always help us and guide us to profiting. Yes, sir. These two states, other states you may borrow leave, but I heard it clearly for these two states. He says, I should tell the security department to be very careful this season. Somebody asked me why. Why? Because while I was preparing, I was like in a trance vision. I saw missing children back to back many many missing children i know what i'm saying i never declare what i didn't see clearly in fact before i declare a message on this altar i ask i check and i check he says tell lagos states tell Bayesa states please please again i beg of you please do what you need to do necessary to improve in the security of the common man when I say common man, those who can't pay for security. Yes, sir. Other states, you may want to borrow leave, but I can tell you and I can tell you again. The lives of our children yearn for urgent security. Yes, sir. These two states, please. Put out all the gadgets, all you need to do, any buttons you need to click. It's not as if children have not been missing in other states. Am I talking to somebody now? Yes, sir. This is in no way demarcating any state. After all, in America, London, UK, Nigeria, South Africa, everywhere children miss. Am I talking to you now? Yes, sir. But God remember these two states to tell them to sit up more because he wants the state to be more secured. So for those who have wisdom to follow suit, we are not demarcating any state. This is a prophetic and spiritual message. Yes, sir. It says be careful, be careful put out more security but i want to declare as a prophet on this order yes sir those who say their job is stealing human he said put them to death that steal their fellow human yes sir i command their extinction mm. i declare them missing from planet earth yes. amen whether they call them one chance or they call them any name kidnapping stealing and selling children mm. yeah few last week they discovered that a place in Ozoba here, I think, where they steal children, a compound filled with students, children. Mm. But I decree anyone in the business of stealing and selling children, Jesus. my God, curse all of them. Amen. Amen. Destroy all of them. Amen. Send them to early grief. Penury is their portion because oh. they won't kill innocent children at all. no child will go to school and get missing am i talking to somebody now yes, yes, sir. no child will go to school and the parents begin to cry that they didn't receive them back i lift my right hand to heaven somebody lift your right hand to heaven and i decree in the name of jesus every child is under the watch of the holy ghost I thought you would say amen to that. Amen. Every child is under the watch of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Every child is under the watch of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Anyone seeking them is destroyed. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Still in these two states, Lagos and Bayesa. God says I should tell the servicemen to be prayerful. Tell the what? Servicemen to be prayerful. Servicemen means those who are in charge of enforcing the law. Servicemen, Bayesa, Lagos, be prayerful. Sit up in prayer. I used to tell you when I see the opposite of a thing, I try to declare it in a positive form because I don't want it to happen. No tragic news, no evil news should befall the servicemen in this state because Amen. i see what when i saw it looked like ambush back to back to servicemen but these are men protecting the peace and safety of the states mm. 
but anyone who has targeted mapped out to attack the police attack the army attack those you know some people yes even in church we have bad people in church yes sir in school we have bad teachers yes, yes sir in the society we have bad society yes, yes sir so in police we can see how bad people there yes sir we can see have some of them bad in them anyway am i talking to somebody now yes sir as long as that is good there must be bad. bad so let's not follow because of one bad policeman or one bad army or one bad somebody to not generalize to start ambushing others who are good mm. am i talking to somebody now yes sir but god says i should tell them to be at a lot mm. this is a prophet speaking yes sir pass the message to your colleagues those who are hearing tell them to be at a lot be sensitive don't be carried away in duty mm. let the holy spirit speak to you even when you are posted to those points where you'll be working be sensitive yes, yes. that is number one number two health issues god says they should be prayerful servicemen in these two states our God will cover you. Amen. Our God will shield you. Amen. Our God will protect you. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Second to the last to these two states again. Bayesam Lagos. Lagos. Now the fire outbreak is very massive. Very massive. This one does not even remain ashes. I saw it. From crude oil product again. And from worship center or business centers or business place put it plazas or markets bayesa lagos what did i say bayesa, bayesa and lagos what did i say fire as pray there is nothing prayer cannot do yes, yes sir. sir prayer can avert physical things not just spiritual things yes, yes sir i believe when you hear pray things like this you're wrong with it am i talking to somebody now yes, yes sir. sir and i know that they will do the needs needful yes, sir. and god must answer the prayers amen, amen. God will answer the prayers. Amen. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. And I know they know that flood is coming. The western part, part of Bayesa, part of Uganda. This is not a prophecy, it's on news. But I want to pray as a church for them. News has carried, science has carried that flood is coming. God, it is written in your word that you will not destroy the world with water again yes sir you say that about the world mm. i am begging about the state mm. jesus do not let water destroy livelihood amen reduce the impact amen reduce the impact amen, amen. as it concerns Bayasa state yes sir as it concerns lagos state yes sir as it concerns river state mm. as it concerns even those who have seen it outside the country europe wherever it is happening already father reduce the impact amen. have mercy yes, Lord. have mercy amen. he said your word will not return to you void at all this is your word we are bringing to you yes sir you say you will not destroy the world with water again yes, sir. Yes, sir. let your mercy speak amen. Amen. upon Bayasa, upon lagos amen. upon river state amen. upon europa amen. upon usa amen. upon china amen. upon wherever massive destruction of or is going on already jesus. lord do this amen. and the glory will be returned back to you amen in jesus mighty name we pray amen. amen i'm sure that you have listened to everything the man of god have said it is important that as we have listened to this message as we have listened to this prophecy as we have listened to this deep revelation that we don't sit on it that we don't sleep on it we take massive action the action that i want us to take is that we do well to pray for our country nigeria i'm not going to be analyzing whatever he has said or whatever he has talked about in this video i'm not going to be analyzing it because we already know what is happening in our country nigeria we all know you know and i know so i uh, let us know uh, we don't need anybody to tell us what is happening in the country as of now and i'm not going to be looking deep into uh, everything you said or analyzing and talking no 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 what we need right now is that we do uh, to pray for our country nigeria let us pray for our country nigeria because a lot is going on oh a lot that you don't even know of uh, is going on we we have heard the other day dangote have come out to say that uh, uh, he gave uh, uh, what do they uh, call it lagos state government 100 million dollars for the for his land for the final nobody talked about that if you have not watched the video just listen to what dangote said you heard what i said in the refinery we did not and i repeat we did not collect one single incentive from the federal government of nigeria or from even the lagos state 
of Nigeria. Yes, Lagos said maybe they gave us a good deal, but we paid $100 million for the land. It wasn't a free land. We paid for it. I'm sure that you're listening to that. These are some of the things we should, we should unite and be tackling. But who is going to ask them the question when they have used tribe and politics and religion to divide us? Who is going to hold them accountable? Nobody. They are going to hold themselves accountable. Nigeria is dying and going. Dangote came out again that uh, uh, some people own a plant, a refinery, a mortar. If you have not, also, if you have not watched the video also, listen to what Dangote said. This one, when we go ahead, we will say more. We will say more in the sense that, uh, you know, uh, we know where they blend this in. Some of the terminals, some of the NNPC people and uh, some, you know, traders have opened uh, a blending plant somewhere of uh, Malta. We all know these areas. We know what they are doing. It's not that we don't know. I'm sure that you listen to you paid attention. It is not only Dangote that said it. All. It is not only Dangote that came out to speak about that. Another young boy came out to speak about this same issue. That Dangote, uh, that Tinibu has a refinery and some NNPC people have a refinery, a mortar. We are the refine our, our oil and, and supply us fuel. That is why petrol is very expensive. Listen to what this young man have to say. Just pay attention to what is happening in this our country, Nigeria. Listen. Guys, you will be shocked what I found out about the president of Nigeria. He is a shareholder and a board member, himself and two other family members of a, of a refinery in Malta. The problem they give into Dangote is because they want that all of Nigerian crude most of it anyway, a few percentage of it to be refined in Malta in a private refinery where the president of Nigeria and a few members of his family are board members and shareholders. You can't make this shit up. You can't make this shit up. So they're refusing to give Dangote crude oil so they can send it to Malta where the president has shares in the refineries. I'm sure that you listen to what the young man have said though. I'm sure you paid serious attention. I'm letting you watch all these things eh, for you to understand that some of the things we are even fighting about, some of the things we are talking about, tribe did this, tribe did that, Biafra did this, Biafra did that, are not the things we should be talking about at this time. We should be fighting for to make this country a better place. People are suffering the country and they are using some certain things, political strategies to distract us. To make us not to talk about things we should be talking about. Sometimes you, I, I look at all these things. Eh, it's like, let me cry. We have been hearing people like uh, Pastor Ebukai Obi talking about Nigeria, talking about Biafra, talking about this, talking about that. We have been hearing different men of God, Pastor Kingsley. We, we have been hearing him talk. We have been hearing uh, Pastor McMurray giving prophecies. We have been hearing them talk different men of god i can't finish mentioning their name but the question i need you to i need to ask is that with everything they have been saying and with everything they are saying now do you pray about them do you tell me do you pray about them or is it just to sit at a place hey this person have done this that person have done this this person have done this that is all most of us just know how to do talking talking cha -cha 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 -cha. that is what most of us will know how to do the energy we use in talking, the energy we use in battling our brothers, our sisters, our friends because of this country, Nigeria, we can actually put in that energy and be praying for this country, Nigeria. And I tell you that if we pray, God is going to answer. People like Joshua Igila, they have been talking. They have been saying, give Igbo man a chance, give an Easterner a chance. If these people have been marginalized, these people have not been marginalized. Do this, do that, do this, do that. Nothing has changed because we are just sitting down. We are just relaxed. Let us pray. As we have been hearing all these things, let us pray for our country, Nigeria. The country keep getting worse day by day, year by year, month by month. Early this year, Papa Iya Debe reviewed to us that 
some top secrets are going to be exposed and you have been hearing it you have been you have heard everything dangote have been have been saying you have heard some of the things that have been exposed already you have been hearing it yourself he said it that this country top secrets are going to be exposed things are going to be happening if you have not watched that video by by um pastor e. Adeboye, just listen to what he said Pay serious attention to what he has to say. You can write this in capital letters. The wind is blowing. And so you should include in your prayer that the wind will blow you, you good. Hmm. Because the wind is blowing. It's already blowing. You, you can't stop the wind. Because the wind is blowing. Some serious secrets will come to the open. I'm sure you have listened to everything Pastor E. Adebo have said. I'm sure you paid attention to what he said. He's not the only one though, that have said uh, something like that. Though. Another pastor mentioned also that some secrets will be exposed. Thank God that we are seeing it. Some secrets have been exposed, but what are we doing about those secrets that have been exposed? The pastor did not just say that uh, so he said that even that the military is going to take over. That the military is going to take over. Just listen. Just listen. listen to what this uh, uh, pastor has to say. The cry of Nigerians has come to the table of God. Yeah. Something is about to happen. There are secrets that will be revealed in Nigeria. And those secrets are high profile secrets. According to the Holy Spirit of Truth, those secrets is a secret that will expose the sitting government. So says the Holy Spirit. And God says, now there is something that is going on. The military has sit down. They have got a meeting two times. If they don't see changes, Nigeria will go back to military room. Right to let's sit down. They are having meetings, the military. The military has got a meeting two times. They want things to change. And if it does not change, they will come in by force. So says the Holy Spirit. I'm sure that you have listened though. These videos I'm playing for us, eh, it's not so who we'll say, oh, this, that, that, we'll start talking, I know the way some of us will usually talk now. I am bringing it to us so that we know that pastors have been speaking, prophets have been prophesying, people have been revealing things to us, but we are really not doing anything about it, about them. We are really not doing anything about them. This pastor that said that military is going to take over, military is going to step in, military are planning to take over. He's not the only one who major prophet Elijah also mentioned that some military men are, are meeting, plotting and planning to take over power. Let me not waste your time. Just listen also to what he said concerning that. I am seeing what's called five men standing right away in the Krinkum meeting. Mandeko Parada, Rekotosika Paratakata. Two from the mid belt, one from the core north, not Flanny, core north, and one from Yoruba land, and the other one from within the Midwest. When you say Midwest, you are talking about Bini, uh, 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 you are talking about uh, 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 a dusted part, and also what's called uh, the Delta part. And I see these five men stood in a special meeting, and they said, How do we rescue Nigeria from the hands of the people who call themselves uh, politicians? Please, I am begging all that will do well to pray for our country, Nigeria. Let us pray for Nigeria. I know that anytime some of you hears it, me, hear me saying pray for Nigeria, you want to crucify me. But if you want to crucify me because of this, please do. Crucify me because I cannot tell you to go and fight. I cannot tell you to go and destroy government properties that they will still use you and ice money to repair. But I can tell you to pray. I can tell you to intercede for this country. Eh? Beloved of God, pray for this country, Nigeria. And we have tried everything. We have tried protests, we have tried this, we have tried that. Let us try God. It is important for us to pray 
for our country nigeria and as we do so i know that god is going to meet us at the point of our needs in the name of jesus thank you so much for watching the video please do have to subscribe to the channel turn on your notification bell so whenever i post another video you will be notified for returning subscriber i want to say thank you to you thank you for always stopping by to watch our video we love and appreciate the support you give us on this channel may god bless you may god reward you in the name of jesus when you call for one may millions answer in the name of jesus please do me a favor share the video also share that platform share with your friends and love them god bless you as you do so i will see you in the next one you are blessed i have good news for you your will is being written i am what i am by the grace of god as long as that grace does not fail satan will never fail. this revival you see will not be aborted